Okay, this is another Not In Class interview, and we have here... Candace Polk. Okay, now tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a super senior. It's my fifth year. Um, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm majoring in Latin and biology. Oh, what made you do that? Well, I wanted to do something that I liked. I'm very good at Latin. I'm also very good at um, sciences, like chemistry and biology and things like that. But I also intended to go to medical school, but now I think I'm just going to go to nurse practitioner school. I'm going to teach chemistry for two years and then go to nurse practitioner school. Sounds like you have it all planned out. I had a plan, but I'm not going to stick to it. We'll see. Okay. Why did you come to uh, UT? Um, <laughs> honestly, this is my last choice, and it was far enough from home to where I could, like, get away but close enough to where I could get back home if I needed to and they gave me a full ride so it was free money. That's always a good reason. Other than that I didn't have a reason. Cool. Okay well tell us about your experiences as a student leader on campus. Um, As a student leader on campus I feel like my experience has um, had some good and some bad and some ugly. Um, I say the good of my leadership experience at UC is like meeting new people and working with different kinds of people and um, you know seeing the effect that different events and programs and things that my organization and um, other um, <laughs> things that I'm involved in have affected people and like having people come up to me and tell me how you know proud they are of something that my organization has done bad I would say is seeing like lack of interest in um, events and um, programs that I feel like people should be very interested of and like one um, event that one of my organizations did was we um, got all these statistics together about like the different STDs that were plaguing the campus and it's like six or seven people there so it's like when the Apple Store party everybody and mama can be there but when we're telling you you know what I'm saying, this is a prevalent STD. You can get chlamydia very easy at this campus. It's one of the most prominent STDs on campus. People don't want to know about that. So that's been the bad for me. It's disappointing to see, you know, people not, especially educated people, not care about things that I feel like they should care about. Um, the ugly, I feel like, is when you have um, poor leadership on campus. When you're working with other people and they're not on their stuff, like it's frustrating and it's devastating because when you're a leader you should do the best you can and when people are doing the best they can they just fall short that's acceptable but when you just procrastinate and wait till the last minute to do things and things just don't turn out right that disappoints me and it, it makes me angry so that's my experience as a student leader on campus uh, besides the issues of poor leadership um, non-attendance what other issues do you and other student leaders face as far as leading the organization um, and the other activities that you do I think a lot of times we don't pull together like you'll see um, Diva Opals do an event and then you'll see um, Matt do the exact same event or you know Tommy is usually um, an issue like someone might be putting on a very um, important or very interesting program and you know somebody else might be putting on one the exact same night so then you're stuck trying to figure out which one you're, who you're going to support like which one do you, are you going to go to and I feel like we have the director's council but I don't know well I do know because I was on director's council um, I feel like people don't attend leaders don't attend director's council enough so that it can be effective, it can do the job that it was meant to do, which is to keep all the leaders on the same page so that everybody knows, okay, Matt's doing a freshman pageant on February 27th. Let's not put the Image Awards on that day. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like communication between the leaders on campus and the different organizations is really lacking and it needs to pick up soon. Well, on a lighter note, Besides the Director's Council, what all have you and what all are you involved with? Oh, and this is um, including things that you do outside of campus. So much. Well, <laughs> um, I'll start freshman year and on. I was in clinic balls. I was in team balls. Um, 
I've been, of course, in Diva Opal since my freshman year. Um, I was vice president of that for two years, and then I became a student um, advisor for that. Um, I was on director's council. Um, I had, was on the diversity affairs for SGA. So I do a lot of community service, big brothers, big sisters. I've had my little sister for three years. Um, I adopted a little girl. Well, not really adopted. I have custody of a, a little six-year-old that I take care of. Uh, I've always worked at least two jobs the whole time I've been in college. Um, I take care of myself. I mean, what else do you want? That? That's a lot. <laughs> I don't understand how you can manage your social life with doing all of that. Okay. Well, how do you do that? Um, you. This sounds really sick, but I schedule appointments with my friends. Like, okay. I'm dead serious. Wednesday um, at 5 o'clock, I'm meeting with Christy to have lunch and do this and do that. Or, you know, next Saturday, we're going to have a slumber party for the girls and we'll all eat cake and ice cream and watch movies or something like that. But I'm a very, like, planned and organized person. Like, if it's not in my planner, it's not happening. You sound very busy. I believe you mentioned something about someone else overstretching themselves. Yeah, well, I know my <laughs> limit. I will say that. I do know mm -hmm. how to say no. I had to learn that, though. Um, my junior year, they had asked me to start a organization, like a fraternity for African Americans that were planning to go to um, medical school, and I said no because <laughs> I had a whole lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. So I do know how to say no. I think that's, that's the key is finding the balance. I know you mentioned earlier that you all the goals on your plan. Yeah. What what other goals do you have for the future? Um, I want to open up a twenty four hour daycare. Um, I also want to own an apartment complex. I would like for my twenty four hour daycare to be in the apartment complex, and I would like for that apartment complex to be geared towards like low income families and like women who have children while they're in college or before they get to college and still want to go. Um, I think child care is an issue for women that a lot of times people don't think about because they don't have kids. But when you have a small person that you're responsible for, keeping up with them and making sure that they're safe and there's somebody there that's not going to molest them or abuse them in any way, shape, or form. It's always in the back of your mind, and you always want to make sure that you're putting them in a position where they can't be harmed. 